1570 WBGX Harvey, Chicago. You are now tuned into the Ask the Elder Show, where your host, Sir Walter Jones, answers your most challenging questions. Got questions about sex, Christian living, or politics? He's got the answer from a biblical perspective. That's right, Ask the Elder, and let's change your life today. Why do you sit there and doubt, oh my friend? I said, why? why sit there and doubt, oh my hello, 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 everybody out there in Radio Land. This is Elder Walter Jones, affectionately known as Sir Walter Jones. And we're here in the studio. We thank God we're live, we're full, and in effect. <laughs> I usually say we're full, we're live and, and full effect, but then I said we're live and full <laughs> and in effect. <laughs> what y'all full of, I'm not sure. <laughs> yes, we're here, we're here, we thank God. God, we thank you for your blessings, for your security on our nation. Thank you for safety because we have given so much uh, attention to the uh, city of Jerusalem. Mm-hmm. And you said for us to pray for the peace of Jerusalem. And you said you bless us if we bless it. You also said you curse us if we curse it. So, God, we continue to pray for the peace of Israel and Jerusalem that they might find you. And, God, to help us in this uh, broadcast that uh, the people of God also, they might find you as well. But find you with a deeper understanding of the word of God. We remove ourselves that you might show yourself strong in jesus name amen. amen we have in our room here you heard this beautiful nice i was getting ready to say sexy but the saints shouldn't be, be be uh y'all stop trying to be sexy really yeah well why y'all trying to bring sexy back when when did it leave by the way i guess we we should be downtrodden okay down. <laughs> long suffering quite unattractive <laughs> set cloth it makes and us, ashes it makes us extra holy <laughs> yeah i see <laughs> <laughs> we also have in the room annette 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 Harris took over the show last Thursday. She looks like a diva today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's wow. Di- I don't know how to take that. He called you sexy, and and then we have no, Annette. In no, the no, room. no, no, <laughs> no, 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 no. That is not what we I said. Think. Her voice, because <laughs> right now she looking. <laughs> oh, I did. I say anything yet? Really? You feeling in the blank? I'm gonna come back on you. I, that's why I know. Okay. I know better. See, PJ, okay. help me out. <laughs> Hit the there's a mute button on I, your board. Uh, Hit it every time she's no, before she speaks. I'm a, I got a he loud answers voice. with the mute button. <laughs> Annette, how you doing? I'm okay. Sir Thank Walter, you for how are you? I'm great. Thank you for Thursday. She's the one with the sexy um, voice. I had had had, had uh, what's his name on the show? Uh, what you call him? The YouTube? What do you call him? The YouTube the pastor. The YouTube pastor was on. Yeah. And, oh uh, really? Yeah, he was on in my stead. Y'all know I was in Miami taking mm-hmm. care of business and. Mm-hmm. Um, he uh he he preached the word of God on the show and uh, mm-hmm. Annette was there to read for him I, I think <laughs> I no heard the show I didn't yet. read for him I did not oh oh you didn't no okay. I did not I gotta hear the show I haven't heard it yet I was so busy yeah yeah at the beach uh, <laughs> <laughs> right listen today's topic is well you know uh give me the opening scripture by the way because we need to let the people know what this show is all about <laughs> <laughs> that would be nice yeah. You want me to get it? Yeah. Yeah. First Peter three fifteen. What's that? But sanctify the Lord God in your hearts. Sanctify him in your hearts. And be ready always to give an answer to every man that asketh you a reason of the hope that is in you with meekness and fear. You got questions. We got answers. And we will give them from a biblical perspective. Today's topic is about sickness. Uh, where does sickness come from? Where does it come from? Can't wait to hear this one. Where is all this sickness coming from? We've got they running out of names coming from the devil. That we well come on, preacher. (laughs) (laughs) Facebook is saying that sickness comes from the devil. All right, we got a lot of scripture today. Grab your pen, a pad, paper, whatever you got, because we got some stuff here. The book of uh, the the book has a lot of uh, answers to this subject here, and uh, when we get through today, you still might be a little confused because sometimes you know you get overload with a lot of information. You still be like, well, yeah, but what's the answer, All mm-hmm. right? So you're gonna have to go mm-hmm. home and study for yourself. And those of you who are at home, study for yourself. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> we okay now. Uh, uh, right quick, I'm gonna ask both of you questions. Annette, where does sickness come from? Um, <clears throat> actually, there are a couple of places it comes from. Sure, I think it comes from the in the in your mind, though. Okay, <laughs> so mental sickness. So psychosomatic. Yeah, but then that also that also um, would 
make it go physically too. You know, cause uh-huh. you, you can think you're so sick. That's true. Mm-hmm. You're right. You're right. I, I agree with that, uh, uh, Aunt Angie. You're not gonna set me up. I agree yeah, with Bridget. Yes. No. Yes. So, <laughs> y'all should see her. We need to get a camera in here because you look like you just beautiful. come from. Uh, She's beautiful. Um. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> 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 because I, I'm wearing a hat until Saturday. Yeah, but you look cute though. Friday. Hey. Um, okay. <laughs> then I get my it's hair done. It's her birthday. Oh, it's sorry. Her... <laughs> We're on the show. I got a show to run here. <laughs> okay. Right. Uh, here's let's first talk about where signals come from. It, you you right, Annette. It comes from different uh, areas here. Mm-hmm. First of all, uh, uh, signals comes from from God. <laughs> okay. Disease and sickness came from God. Mm. All right. All right. We better go to scripture before I get this you show better. shut down. Exodus nine fourteen was to say. Wow, that's true. That's kind of deep. Yeah, yeah. Deeper than Exodus. Ocean. What'd uh-huh. you say, Angie? Deeper than ocean. Exodus oh. nine fourteen. Okay, I'm sorry. She was speaking. For I will at this time <laughs> what? send all my plagues upon thine. Wait, who heart. is this talking? Well, it must be God. Oh, okay. But y'all said it doesn't come from the Lord. No, no, no. We did not say it did okay. not. Okay, all right. Keep we going. We just didn't say it did. Keep going. And upon thy servants, uh-huh. and upon thy people, yeah. that thou mayest know that there is none like me in all the earth. This is God doing this. Uh, verse 16. And in very deed, yeah. for this cause, uh-huh. have I raised thee up, yeah. for to show in thee my power, uh-huh. and that my name may be declared throughout all the earth. Yeah, God put a disease and sickness on those people so that his name can be declared. He did it. Go to Leviticus 26 and 21. Now, here are the consequences of your disobedience. Oh, Leviticus 26, 21? Yeah. What did it say? You ain't prepared, are you? Of course I am. <laughs> nah. Always prepared. Don't look at me. And angry. if you walk contrary unto me. And if you walk contrary. And will not hearken unto me. And this is God still speaking. I will bring seven times more plagues Ooh, upon you. This is coming from God. According to your sins. That's God. God sends disease and sickness upon the people for their disobedience. Now, but here's the thing. Okay. Now, you, we know about Job. Now, who inflicted Job? Satan. He, yes, he did. So that's where the other one comes from, right? <laughs> right. But by Ooh. whose permission, though? By that was by God's permission. Uh, it sure though. was. Romans one and eighteen, please. Romans one, eighteen. And 18. Yeah, and, and mute your phone. Thank you. <laughs> for the wrath of God uh-huh. is revealed from heaven. <laughs> PJ, man, you got to mute for her phone. Against <laughs> all, reading the word. Okay, go ahead. Against all ungodliness. The wrath of who now? Go back. For the wrath of God. Yes. Is revealed from heaven okay. against all ungodliness. Uh, ungodly people. This, yeah. uh-huh. Uh-huh. And unrighteousness of men yeah. who hold the truth in unrighteousness. You, you know the truth, and, uh, but you hold it in unrighteousness. Okay. Mm-hmm. Keep going. Because that which may be known of God mm-hmm. is manifest in them. When you were born and when you were, you were, you were be coming up, and, and walking around the earth, going to and fro, doing what you do, the truth is in you. It mm-hmm. was known unto you. God is saying this. It's known unto you. You know the truth. Mm-hmm. Uh, keep going. Mm. Uh, for God hath showed it unto them. Uh, uh, that's how you know the truth. God showed it to you. Right. Keep going. For the invisible things of him uh-huh. from the creation of the world. The invisible are... or the invincible? Invisible. Thank you. Uh, that's uh-huh. what I said. Yes. Yeah. Of him... Uh, from the creation of the world uh-huh. are clearly seen. You look up and you see God. Mm-hmm. Keep going. Being understood by the things that are made. Mm-hmm. Even his eternal power and Godhead. There's no excuse for an atheist today. Ah. Keep going. So that they are without excuse. No excuse for an unbeliever today. Mm-hmm. Not one. Keep yes. Going. Uh-huh. Because that, uh-huh. when they knew God. Uh-huh. They knew him. They glorified him not the as shit. God. They looked at him and said, Psh, whatever, God. Uh-huh. uh-huh. Neither were thankful. Right. But became vain in their imaginations. Yeah. And their foolish heart yeah. was darkened. Wow. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Professing themselves to be wise. Yeah, you, you, th- you think you're smart. <laughs> mm-hmm. uh, they became fools. Yeah. And change the glory of the uncorruptible God yeah. into an image made like to corruptible man. Yeah. And y'all. to birds. Y- yeah. Huh? And four-footed beasts. Wow. And the creeping things. Idolatry. You're changing God to something that he's not. Mm-hmm. Okay. 
All right. Now, is it it is 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 it now after that y'all continue to read Romans one because then it talks about all these sins and talking about homosexuality and all these things. Right. And God says, you know what? I'm tired of you. I'm turning you over to a reprobate mind. Right. I'm done with you. So whatever sickness comes upon you, you did it. <laughs> nah. Okay. So does sickness come from God? Yes. Does <laughs> sickness come from the devil? Yes. Yes. Does sickness come from you? Yes. Yes. It does. <laughs> wow, sickness comes from a lot of places. Yes, it does. Okay, because a uh, homosexual sleep with another homosexual, and then AIDS come upon them. Did that come from the devil? That came from them. Um, mm, mm. Is it God? <laughs> 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 Is it God's intent that some be sick? Angie. This is this is messed up. I'm I'm telling you, I'm gonna uh-huh. throw a wrench in this show. I know you are. You already did it <laughs> because I'm waiting to hear. Mm-hmm. You know, I'm a listener. Yeah, you talking about something? Uh-huh. I want to listen, and you're asking me. <laughs> you know, how you come to my show and be a listener? Because what kind of messes that? Because you got set up shows. <laughs> Why you look at me? She I can't, said, I, I, yeah, I can't, I can't look shows. at the whites of her eyes. <laughs> you know, you're not gonna. You huh? better look at me. I you, can't. You have set up shows. Sure. And you know that you're asking a question where traditionally it says yeah. that sickness, you know, God doesn't allow or isn't uh, sickness isn't coming from the Lord. Uh-huh. But at the same time, most of your scriptures uh-huh. that you had her read were Old Testament. Yeah. And then you went to Romans, which is New Testament. Uh-huh. So I'm really waiting for you to piece this thing together before I give my final uh-oh, answer. Uh oh, uh oh. So I'm listening. I'm answering you a question right now. Is God's <laughs> intent that some be sick? today? I don't want to answer yes. that. Okay. You say yes? Yes. Why? So they would um, <laughs> seek him. <laughs> okay. Well, at least you're trying. <laughs> yeah, so they would seek him. I, okay. I, I don't want to get paid for this. Okay. I don't know if I necessarily like the word. Oh. you trying to oh. make it I don't like, necessarily know if I like oh. the word in, intent. Did okay. you say intent? Intent. Yes. intent. Was intent. it his intent for Did he intentionally? Uh-huh. I think he allows, I think he allows the sickness. Right, because uh-huh. you have permissive will and perfect uh-huh. will, and uh-huh. if you decide not to fall up under his perfect will. Oh, now she's talking. <laughs> Now she want to preach. Okay, well, no, now you okay. want to talk. Let her right. talk. Now she want to preach. Let her talk. No, no, no. I oh, ain't see? heard nothing else to say. See? See? Go ahead, Reverend. I, why do I have women on this show? I should have two men on each Because you no, can't again. live wow. with them or without them. <laughs> right. Exactly. You want somebody to co-sign on all this. All right. So it was believed. It was believed that, that sickness. I want to hear what you got to say. I'm trying to teach you. <laughs> it was believed that sickness was a result of sin. The Jews believed that because a man was sick, it's because he was sinning. And, True. And, and, well, that's what they accused Job of. Yes, exactly. Yes. His, his three crazy friends. And <laughs> and we have three crazy friends today in our yes. lives. And when we get something happens to us, they, they they think that because it's something we're doing wrong. I have more than three crazy friends. But I understand. Yeah, I know, talking I understand. about these three in this room. <laughs> the blind man, remember the blind man was, was blind and, and they said, this is, was it a sin of him? Was it a sin of his father? Was the son of his mother, his parents, what have you. Right. And, and Jesus said, no, this man was this way so that the glory of God yes. can be revealed. Yes. So that he can be healed in front of you. Yes. So some people are sick today because it is God's intent that he is healed right before the unbeliever's eyes. So so for the shallow, I'm okay, not going to say shallow, but, intent, uh-huh. yeah. but for the common question, yeah. especially Jehovah Witnesses, uh-huh. They come to you and they say, well, why does God allow bad things to happen to good people? Yes. Mm. I, I just really answered it. No. Yeah, mm-hmm. I did. And you answered it too. You gave, yes, you I gave did. the traditional answer. So no, his glory can be uh-uh. be known. So what if yes. the person that he selects, you know, doesn't fully understand that? I, uh, how will we know that? Well, you've got the answer. This is the Uh-oh. ask the elder show. <laughs> <laughs> Touche. To, to nothing. <laughs> <laughs> uh, um, let's see. When Jesus raised Lazarus from the dead, his words were, I'm going to do this so that the people looking upon this act will believe. They'll see your glory. And he said, Lazarus, get your tail about the grave. Mm. And they know, and that's that's how wow. God acts when it comes to our sickness. A lot of our my mom and grandmother had cancer, both. Oh. Uh, breast cancer and my, my grandmother had stomach cancer. And to, to this day they are healed. They Amen. are, yeah, they are healed because God needed to show His glory right upon them and us and others. All right, now by His stripes we are healed. Is that true? Yes, it is. Are we? What does that mean? We're healed uh, spiritually or or physically? Both. Really? 
then it's by his stripes we're healed. Then why are so many are sick if it's by his stripes we're healed? Because they haven't taken it in mentally. <laughs> they have, you making up stuff now. The Bible says uh-huh. in Matthew 11, I believe it uh-huh. is, that you've got to believe. So if you've got a mountain, sickness uh-huh. is your mountain, you've got to believe in But there are heart. a lot of people who believe and they're still sick. Yeah. So is it by his stripes that we're healed? I thought when Jesus died on the cross and, and they beat him and the, and the blood came from his side, the stripes, then we all will be healed after he was resurrected. You then know, if you're posing a question uh, at a scripture, you know, is it true that by his stripes we are healed? Then mm-hmm. I would want to know in what context and what was happening when that scripture was okay. Um, okay. written. That's good. Isaiah 53 That's and 5. That's fair. That's fair. Isaiah mm-hmm. 53 and 5. It set me up. But, I'm, but, I'm, I'm liking Angie today. <laughs> but he was wounded for our transgressions. Yeah, wounded. For our trans- now you have to read, you have to look very carefully at the content of this, okay? Because you have to look at the Hebrew and the uh, Greek uh, interpretation and definition of these words, so you can have them understand. Uh huh. Mm-hmm. By his wounds, go ahead. He was bruised for our iniquities, and he was bruised. Mm-hmm. Our iniquities, yes. The chastisement of our peace mm-hmm. was upon him. Yes. And with his stripes. Okay. The chastisement of our peace were upon him, and now it's not talking about uh, sickness yet. Okay, it's not talking about us physically, all right? This is, and with his stripes, what? We are healed. Okay, now, when we look at that, we just take that and run with it. By his stripes, we are healed, but everybody's <laughs> dying, okay? <laughs> it went cancer and, and high blood and, and all this stuff. Mm-hmm. Now, go to First Peter 2 and 24. Now, because the Bible interprets itself. Line upon line, precept upon precept. Who his own self bear our sins in his own Be- body. With his own self, he bared our what? Sins. Not our sickness, our sins. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. In his own body. In his own body, on yes. On the tree. On the tree. And then what it says? That we, being dead to sins, uh-huh. should live unto righteousness. Okay, it says sin twice, didn't it? Uh-huh. Then it said righteousness after that, right? Uh-huh. Keep going. Um, by whose stripes ye were oh. healed. Oh. Uh-huh. <laughs> that's uh-huh. end of verse 24. End, okay, that's it. We misinterpret that. It's not by our sickness. Not, not by his stripes is not uh, it was not a healing of our sickness although it can apply if we try and lean on it but it was talking about our sin it's the, the, the sickness of sin we are healed you got it good healing now what about the laying on the hands mm, that's okay. in y'all's department that's, that's Kojic that sure yeah. is Kojic yeah. <laughs> she said that's y'all don't do that no, they don't do much of that no, no. they don't speak in tongues no they lay hands mm. Even though, hands. Uh, okay. I mean, in personal prayer, but like mm-hmm. going around and you know serving. Now, why you don't do people. it? Why you don't do it? Well, um, our pastor and our doctrine believe that when it comes to us, we should be able to to do that for ourselves. Mm. Will lay hands on yourselves? Yeah, really? okay. physician heal thyself. Okay, okay, okay. But that that's that's one answer. But why? But why? This don't is you? not that show. Oh, okay. All right. All right. I just want clarity because you, I you can I did too because then I was going to ask about what the scripture, uh, the laying on of hands, or I know that that's. But I think I think it's a, it's a choice in the matter because there's nothing in scripture says we have to do it. True. All right, now let's go to scripture. Well, that okay. Never mind. We're gonna stick to the subject. But I was gonna say, and that's part of it. But go ahead. Yeah, let's, let's go to scripture. Matthew eight and eight because I have a, a few here about the laying on of hands. Maybe the I centurion I answered and said, uh-huh. "Lord, I am not worthy. I'm not worthy that thou shouldest come under my roof." Okay. But speak the word only, and my servant shall be healed. So were they laying on hands? No. No. He speaks. Now, now, did Jesus lay hands on anybody to be healed? Well, I, I don't. Did he? Yeah, he did. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah, he laid hands. Uh-huh. There, the blind man. Blind man, he, yeah. I was my just, fact, he spit in his face. Radio Land didn't see me. I was doing the <laughs> yeah, anointing. So, 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 <laughs> so Jesus did use his hands, but then a lot of times he didn't have to. True. You just read it right there. True. He spoke it. Right. Okay. Uh, Acts 10, 44. While Peter yet spake these words. While Peter was talking. Uh-huh. uh-huh. The Holy Ghost fell on all them which heard now, the this, word. Now, this is not a healing thing, but this was something that happened to them because he was speaking. Right. Keep going. And they of the circumcision, uh-huh. which believed, were astonished. Yeah. As many as came with Peter, mm-hmm. because that on the Gentiles also was poured out the gift of the Holy Ghost. Okay, that's, that's, that's you know, it's, you can go to 46, y'all at home, but it, this is that's powerful. Acts 20, 9 and 10. Okay. What does that say? I'm moving fast. You are moving fast. I have to. Okay. And there sat in a window a uh-huh. certain young man named Eucatus. And Paul was preaching, preached all night long. Yeah. The man got tired. 
I, I, Paul must have been my dad because he long winded. <laughs> <laughs> the man got tired, and what happened? <laughs> Uh, we love your father. Yeah. Uh, being fallen into a deep sleep. Fell asleep. And as Paul was long preaching, uh-huh. he sunk down with sleep. Yeah. And fell down from the third lot. Yeah. And was taken up dead. This is the story of Humpty Dumpty. <laughs> Jesus. Keep going. <laughs> Jesus. Help him, oh God. And Paul, All the king's men. And Go Paul ahead. went down. Yeah. And fell on him. And embracing him said... Trouble yeah. not yourselves. Paul fell down. He didn't have to lay hands on him, mm-hmm. but he sure put everything on him. He put his body on him. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Trouble going. not yourselves, uh-huh. for his life is in him. Yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. That's uh, the end of verse okay, 10. Okay, you said I had a call? Yeah. I have a caller. Quick, Quickly call. I got a couple minutes. Who's on the phone? Okay, I'm, I'm calling for prayer. I heard you say that your mother and your grandmother was healed. Yes. By cancer. Absolutely. Uh, my mother is in, they're putting her in hospice. Okay. Mm-hmm. And so I'm desiring your prayers. What's her name? Christine. Christine? Yes. Okay, what's your name? Karen. Karen. Okay, Karen. God, we thank you for your presence. God, we thank you for your blood. Yes, Lord. We're speaking on behalf of Christine. God, they're so taking Jesus. her to hospice. And we know in man's I, uh, understanding, hospice is the last road. That's where they make their transition. It don't have to be. Yes, Lord. Yes. God, because we come together in prayer. You, you said that we, we believe. Oh, yes. Yes. And indeed, that we have faith and we believe, right. God, that you said that you will heal. Oh, yes. And that you will deliver and that you will also make whole. Mm-hmm. So, God, we coming together. We said, well, there's, well, well, there's two or three. Well, there's yes. three here in the room and there's, there's a fourth one on the phone. All right. And, God, yes. we're coming together. That we believe in our heart of hearts that you can make a whole. Yes, Lord. You yes. did it for my mother, huh. you did it for my grandmother, yes. and you can do it for her. Yes. Hear yes. us, oh God, now. Yes. Hear us, Thank now, God. You. And we believe you. And it is Hallelujah. Done in yes. Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Go Praise God. God. Bless you. Thank you for calling Thank us. you. You're Thank welcome. you. Thank you. God bless. Bless you. Amen. And that's Amen. what this show is all about. Amen. Amen. I don't got happy now. Hallelujah. We believe <laughs> it. And you know, a, a man was up preaching and he, he was going forth and a man, uh, while in the middle of a sermon, a man came up and wanted to be saved. And the preacher said, no, this is not the time. Mm. He wanted to finish his third and fourth point on no. his sermon notes. I wanted to walk out of church. Because no. what is the purpose? Yeah. Right. Okay, the purpose is that someone might be saved. See, now this is okay. ministry right that's, here. That's yeah, straight you, ministry. You've got to know your purpose. You, you have, have to know to. your purpose. Absolutely. Mm. I believe that that woman will be healed. Amen. I believe it. Amen. I believe it. Yes. I believe it. Yes. You know, and according to your faith. Absolutely. Yes. It is according to your faith. Uh, now go to Second uh, Chronicles 7 and 13. What does it say? I'm feeling excited like I know. Now. That's that's clean up my alley. Right, yeah. right. right. <laughs> I'm ready to have church already. Mm-hmm. If I shut up heaven, yeah. that there be no rain, yeah. or if I command the locusts to mm-hmm. devour the land, mm-hmm. or if I send pestilence among my people. Now, this is God saying, yeah, I'll do all this. I'm sending, I'm sending all this disease, pestilence. Uh huh. If my people. Now, here's a scripture that we always quote, but mm-hmm. do we believe it? Right. Ooh. Now, he's saying if, mm-hmm. not when. <laughs> he right. says if. Yes. Uh-huh. Which are called by my name. These are my people, not these other folks. Yes. Shall humble themselves uh-huh. and pray. Yes. Humble. And seek my face. Humble, mm-hmm. pray, seek. Mm-hmm. Three things. Uh-huh. And turn. Number four. There's a fourth thing. All right. Mm-hmm. That means a re- repent means to turn mm-hmm. and uh-huh. don't do it again. Mm-hmm. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh-huh. From their wicked ways. Yes. Then will I hear it's from heaven. It's then after you did all those things. Yes. Okay. There's, there's a condition thing here. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. He'll hear from heaven. And will forgive their sin. Then I'll forgive you. And will heal their land. And then your land. whole land will be healed. All right, there you go. And now heal. And this healing is 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 plural. This is this is plethora, plethora. <laughs> that means not plethora. just yeah. Mm-hmm. That's it. Plethora. Thank mm-hmm. you. It's 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 the body. It's mind. You name it. Mm-hmm. All of that. James five and thirteen. What does it say? Is any among you afflicted? <laughs> Anybody in church is sick. What? Let him pray. Now you pray. Is any merry? Uh huh. Let him sing psalms. Yes. Is any sick among you? Uh huh. Let him call for the elders call of the church. Call on the elders. Then these are men who are ordained. Okay. Mm-hmm. I, I know there are women ordained uh, uh, elders too. They say it ain't this type of that. It ain't that type of show. <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Just call on the elders. I don't care who you are. If you've been called to be an elder, 
Call them them. And what happens? And let them pray over him. They will pray over the sick. Anointing him with oil ah, in the name of So apparently they're touching the these Lord. people, right? Mm-hmm. Yes. They, took, they put their hands on them and took some oil and anointed them. Uh-huh. That's the end of verse 14. Okay. Continue. Yeah. And the prayer of faith shall save the sick. The prayer of what? Faith. 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 Mm-hmm. If they have no faith and you're praying over people and they're not being recovered, then what's the purpose? Mm-hmm. Why are people staying sick? Because apparently you don't have faith. And you said to that woman on the phone, it's according to what? Your faith. Your faith. Mm-hmm. Keep going. And the Lord shall raise him up. And then the Lord will raise him up. Okay. And if he have committed sins, uh-huh. they shall be, be forgiven. forgiven. Him. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, uh, I got about four minutes. Mark 16 and 17. What does it say? Mark 16 and 17? Uh-huh. Okay. I, I, I'll have to get that for you. You skipped yes. on me. I'm sorry. I That's thought okay. I gave you that one. Although I think I did. But you know. You know, go easy on my go sister. Easy, go easy on your oh, sister. My sister. Mark. Oh, my sister. <laughs> Mark 16 and 17. Bless the Lord. Mm-hmm. Thank you for your uh, your help, um, Angie. Mark 16 and 17. 17. Uh-huh. We're coming. Okay. I'm, I'm, I'm being patient. And these signs shall follow them that these believe. signs shall follow them that what? That believe. You got to believe. What? In my name. Whose name? God's name, Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Shall they cast out devils? Uh huh. They shall speak with new tongues. Speak. They shall take up serpents. Yes. And if they drink any deadly thing, what? It shall not hurt them. Uh huh. They shall lay hands on the sick. They shall what? Lay hands on the sick. But what's going to happen? And they shall recover. Absolutely. So laying on the hands is good to do. Uh, it doesn't have to be done all the time. The woman called in and asked us to pray. I don't mm-hmm. have to go there to lay hands on that woman. That's true. Okay. Good, we, good we example. three of us believe mm-hmm. that this woman would be healed. Right. All right. So the times when we can lay hands is the time we just speak it into existence. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All right. Now, here's the answer to all of this. Romans 8 and 18 and, 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 um, and keep reading until we get off the show. We For I it. reckon <laughs> that the sufferings of this present time <laughs> uh-huh. are not worthy to be compared with the glory which shall be revealed in us. We're suffering now. But, oh, my God, can, you cannot compare this to what's getting ready to happen. Mm-hmm. All right. For the earnest expectation of the creature uh-huh. waiteth for the manifestation of the sons of God. Yes. For the creature was made subject to vanity. <laughs> That's us. Uh-huh. Not willingly, uh-huh. but by reason of him who <laughs> hath subjected the same in hope. Yeah. Because the creature itself also shall be delivered from the bondage of corruption. Yep, uh, thanks to Adam. Uh-huh. uh-huh. Into the glorious liberty of the children of God. Man is born in sin. That's why we have these problems. We're susceptible to disease. And heartaches and all these things mm. because of Adam's sin. Keep going. For we know uh-huh. that the whole creation groaneth and travaileth in pain. Trees and birds and animals and men, they, we're groaning and moaning, travailing. Together uh-huh. until uh-huh. now. Until now. Uh-huh. And not only they, yeah. but ourselves also. We also, the, the household of faith, Christians. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Which have the first fruits of the Spirit. That's us. Even we ourselves groan within ourselves. Sometimes I'm in pain when I wake up in the morning. Ooh, Mentally and physically. Mm. That's us. Uh-huh. Waiting for the adoption uh-huh. to wit, the redemption of our body. Yes. For we are saved by hope. We're saved. Mm-hmm. We've got to have hope. No. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yes. Mm-hmm. Well, you but can't live hope, one second without it. Go mm-hmm. ahead. But hope that is seen is not hope. Yes. For what a man seeth, uh-huh. why doth he yet hope for? Yeah, why are you hoping for it if you can see it? Because mm-hmm. faith without works is dead. Yes. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. But if we hope for that we see not, uh-huh. then do we with patience wait Keep going. for it. Yeah. Likewise, Be the patient. Spirit also helpeth our infirmities. Yes. For we know not what we should pray for. I don't know what to pray for all the time. As we ought. Yes. But the Spirit itself maketh intercession for us. This is not you speaking in tongues and saying mm-hmm. the, the Spirit is speaking. This is the, <laughs> no, the Spirit is doing it. You ain't doing it. Keep going. With groanings which cannot be uttered. The Spirit is doing it for Mm -hmm. you. Uh And he that searcheth the hearts Uh knoweth what is the mind of the Spirit. Yes. Because he maketh intercession for the saints. Hallelujah. According to the will of God. All right. And we know that all things work together for good to them that love God, to them who are the called. All things. According to his purpose. Hallelujah. If you're sick, all things work together for the good. God will heal you. And if he don't, he is able to do it. Amen. (laughs) We got to go. We'll see you Thursday. This is the Ask the Elder Show. You've been listening to the Ask the Elder Show, where he provides you with a biblical perspective for your everyday life. Stay connected to Elder Jones by visiting him online at facebook.com 
forward slash Ask the Elder. Stay tuned next week for the Ask the Elder show with Sir Walter Jones.